Hey everyone, sumo fucking grumpy pants here. My guest the Banzuke entry turned out to be a disaster, so I'm in a little bit of a mood. But we're here to talk about the Banzuke in general, why the committee made the decisions that they did. So I'm going to get into the guest the Banzuke stuff a little bit, but then we'll talk about the Banzuke in general. Here we've got Kyushu 2022. Take a look, get a little bit of a reminder, and then we move on. Here we have my Guess Who Bonzuke stuff on the left and the actual Bonzuke on the right. The ones in blue are the ones I got correct down to the position. I was happy that I got Takakesho right. Um, the ones in yellow are the ones where I got the number right, but not east or west. I was a little surprised Midori Fuji and Sato Umi didn't move. I got lucky with Tochi Notion and Okuno Umi because they just kind of ended up in the right spot, relative, even though everybody around them ended up in different places but we'll get into that as you can see it was a disaster let's just move on all right here's the bonds okay so starting at the top let's just talk about how they laid it out Terunofuji obviously is staying at number one so you know he's there yoga's in the east he's not going anywhere there was some talk I had mentioned in the Guess the Bonzuke video about them putting Terunofuji west and Takakesho east I also saw somebody mention that there was in the past, they have put the Yokozuna East, and then even though if there, there's only one Ozeki, they'll put that Ozeki on the East side too, just because it looks a little weird. And frankly, it does look a little weird to have the one Ozeki on the West, but that's what they did. So he's there. We're fine. Wakataka Kage and Hoshoryu, they're staying where they are. Takiyasu and Shode, I mean, if they're going to go with 10 people in the friggin' Sanyaku, obviously Takiyasu is getting bumped up. Shodai is exactly where he's supposed to be. Kiribayama and Kotonowaka were exactly where they were going to end up in this situation. The only surprise is, you know, Mei and Wakamoto Haru. Now, if they were going to do 10 Sanyaku, like if we knew that, this is exactly what we would expect. Maybe with Wakamoto Haru and Mei flipped. But other than that, you know, this is what the lineup would be. So the surprise of Tan 10 Sanyaku is the only head scratcher here. Uh, I maybe they were looking at that old Kyushu Banzuke and they're like, how can we get as close to that as possible? Because that was about as bad as we ever want to see it get. But they did what they did. So let's deal with it. This is what makes the most sense, you know, and we move on. So Toby Zaru and Meisei each go down one because that's usually what you do with Komusubi who have seven and eight records. It's exactly what should happen. There was really, they could have done it like that with nine in the Sanyaku. Uh, but this makes it a little bit easier. Matakiyumi and Tamawashi, they end up exactly where you might expect them to. I said Abi was going to be three east if there were nine. I'm a little surprised they didn't put him a little bit higher with the ten, but they really like being nice to losers. Losers, that, that's rude. The guys with losing records in Sanyaku. So this is not a huge shock. Abi... You know, th this is this is reasonably okay. Midori Fuji and Sadano Umi not getting any kind of a promotion with Ten Sanyaku is kind of surprising. Now you look at it and it makes enough sense, I guess. I didn't think they were going to get a promotion with Nine because you needed to move Abi up there, you know, so on and so forth. But Midori Fuji. I guess where is he going to go? If you move him up, then you got to move Abi back a space. Could they do that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, but, you know, I didn't think they were going to do it with 9. I guess that means there's no reason to do it with 10. Matakiyumi and Tamawashi, they really don't want to put him below Magashira too. Like, we know that. So I guess that makes sense. Putting Sadano Umi behind Nishiki Fuji, sure, I guess. But uh, Nishiki Fuji and Ryudin staying one rank apart with their nine and sixes, but Sad Naomi can't go anywhere. I don't know. That's all a little bit weird. If Again, if I had known that they were going to do 10 Sanyaku, this isn't what I would have expected. I would have lined them up a little bit differently than this because I would have been like, really? They're, they're still not going to go with a promotion on the eight and seven guys? But it is what it is. There may very well be a new group doing this. It's hard to say unless somebody knows for sure. If you do, let me know in the comments. But should we get used to 8 and 7s not getting promoted? No, I don't think so. This has been a very weird situation. It's 
the only time since Kyushu of 2019 that it's been this bad. So I guess for it to happen in this case isn't that strange. Whatever, you know, we move on. So Ryuden, okay, you know, he's, like I said, he stays his rank behind Nishiki Fuji. Nishikigi, he gets his half rank with his eight wins. Okuto Fuji, he goes down his one. Miyogiryu, he goes up his one. All of that works. All of that makes sense. You know, no questions asked here. Now, Ichino Joe and Ura should have, quote unquote, been behind Onisho and Oho, right? But Onisho and Oho got their promotions. They each went up the correct number of ranks with the records that they had. Ichino Joe and Ura, they got saved three ranks of demotion on this. This is where most of the goodness really came into play from the Bonzuke committee. It's a little bit of a surprise. Like, why wouldn't you give Onisho and Oho that little bit more of a bump? They gave Hirata Umi an extra bump, and we'll talk about that in a second. I mean, for guess the Bonzuke purposes, I'm not complaining, right? But it's, it's still a little bit of a surprise. Again, if I had known, blah, 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 we could just repeat that before everything I say. Uh, I would have put Onisho and Oho ahead of those two. Because at Magashira 8, it would still be a couple ranks of under demotion for Ichi and Ura. So why is that not okay? I don't know. That's what they went with. Now, this is where some interesting things start to happen. Now, Aoyama, he just didn't move. He just didn't move. Okay, fine, whatever. But he fits in in the right place compared to everybody around him. Takano Sho and Endo. Now, Ura ended up ahead of both of them. They were tied. Usually, as I've said many times, uh, they tend to favor the guy with the higher rank but the worst record when it comes to figuring out how to place them on the next Bonzuke if there's a tie. Well, in this case, the guy with the better record ended up ahead. Takano Sho ended up ahead. Why? I don't know. But it gets more interesting. Hirata Umi, Tochi Notion, and Shioshoma were all tied. Tochi Notion and Shioshoma had losing records. Hirata Umi had a winning record. They could have put Tochi at Maegashira 10 West and Hirata Umi at Maegashira 11 West. Hirata Umi would have gotten a perfectly okay promotion. Tochi Notion would have gotten one less rank of demotion on 6 and 9, and Chiyoshoma would have gotten a half rank less demotion on 7 and 8. That's very balanced. That's a very fair way of things turning out. And they didn't do it. They gave Tochi his full demotion, and they gave Hirata Umi his full promotion plus one. And they kept Chiyoshoma ahead of Tochi Notion. That's really surprising. Now that's something we might want to look for in Banzuke's going forward, at least for the rest of the year if they switch yearly to see if they're going to continually prefer guys with better records in these tie ball, tie ball game situations. Okonomi, he just got his half rank. Okay, fine. Kagiyaki, they were tied, so they preferred Kagiyaki. Again, he had the better record. With guys that have winning records, they tend to prefer the one with the, the better record. Um, Wakamoto Haru not getting the preference was a little bit of a surprise, but maybe it's because Meisei was only getting two ranks even if you bump him ahead of Wakamoto Haru. I'm not sure. But yeah, so here, Kagiyaki ahead of Okunoumi, that all makes sense. Koto Shoho, Koto Echo, Ichi Yamamoto, Azumaru, all of them had the same record, and they all end up directly ahead of the guy that they were next to. Koto Shoho right ahead of Koto Echo, Ichi Yamamoto right ahead of Azumaru. Nothing's changed there. Everything's fine. Completely expected. And now we get into the, what the actual fuck are they thinking? That's not even a good question mark. What is that? Let's clear that. Surugi Show ahead of Takara Fuji and the other promotees. That's a terrible arrow. Let's do it again. Yeah, that makes sense. That's fine. He's 15 East, completely expected. Mitoryu ahead of Chiyomaru. Now, that's what I said was going to happen. Akawa was 10 and 5 on the East side, where Chiyomaru was 8 and 7 at 1, and Mitoryu was 9 and 6 at 3. So, in terms of rank plus wins, they're all the same, but Akawa was on the East and the other two guys were on the West. So what happened to Aqua? Why didn't he get the promotion? I genuinely don't know. I'm assuming it's because, I should say, I'm guessing. This is a little bit weird. It's possible that they saw Chiyomaru, like, he should get a promotion. Okay, Matoryu is directly tied with him. So who do we pick between those two? Well, why don't we just put both of them up and let Aqua sit 
back in Jurio because he was lower rank, so who cares? That would be kind of strange, but they're allowed to do it. That seems to be what they did. But why? Why? Why is Takara Fuji in between Matoryu and Shiomaru? Remember, these guys were exactly tied, right? They were exactly tied. Now, they were tied in such a way that Takara Fuji was slightly behind. He was a half rank below when it comes to calculations. Now, as I've said, the, my, the Makauchi guys tend to be preferred, and they get, you know, the benefits of that, so they get the higher rank. So that's why I put him ahead of everyone that was coming up from Jurio except Surugisho. But why did they put him between those two? If they had put him behind, maybe that shows a change in thinking that they're going to start putting the Jirio guys ahead if it's, you know, mathematically appropriate. But between them, why between them? There's no reason for that. None of that makes any sense at all. Chiyomaru got his one rank. Okay, well, Matoryu got an extra rank. Why don't you just give him a half of an extra rank? And then Takara Fuji just sits at 15 West. That one blows my mind. I don't understand it. I don't have an explanation for it. But that's the bottom of the Banzuke, so that's what we have to end with. And I hate it, and I'm sorry. And that's the Banzuke breakdown for Hatsu 2023. I'm really wondering if we are going to see this happen again in Haru in March. Are we going to have another batch of really decent records up at the top that just lock everything up and make them do this again? It was nice of them, even if niceness wasn't their goal, to add the extra two Komasubi to clean everything up. But are they going to have to do it again? And if this happens a second time in a row, are they going to be that nice next time? Hard to say. But the Basho's coming up. We're going to have a good time. Have a great day. And I will see you soon.